What's one thing you would never do again? Ha ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Get back to uh, it. <laughs> yeah, join, join, join a religion. Oh, yeah. I know. Oh, it's a hard yeah. one, isn't it? For people who don't follow the Jehovah's Witness thing, it's such a big part of your life. It's like when yeah. you go down to the local supermarket and you bump into something. You are listening to Danny on What the Heck Podcast. This is the place where I share my experience, knowledge, and skills. Well, I've got a treat for you. I hope you like rapping music. I've actually got Cliff Henderson, called The Fifth. Uh, he's coming along on the What to Heck podcast, and I'm going to get straight into asking him a, a few questions. Welcome along. How you doing? I'm doing well. Thank you for having me, Danny. I appreciate you, uh, you reaching out and making it happen. Now, cool. now just, uh, I'm in New Zealand. It's uh, 3.30 in the afternoon. Where, whereabouts are you? I'm in Northern California, uh, near San Francisco, what's known yeah. as the Bay Area. Woo-hoo. And you're in your car because you've got a young child that's making a lot of noise, so you've come out to your car so we can record. All exactly. right, so I want to get, I want to, get to know you. So I've got um, these questions, if you're not familiar with them, our listeners. Basically, I have um, 100 questions, and they're random, and I've grabbed 12 and we're going to ask, let's see, is there anything you wish would come back into fashion? Woo. Uh, anything I wish would come back into fashion. I think the rap music that I grew up on, I wish that would come back. That style of music would come back in fashion. Right now, things are very different. I like the new wave, but um, yeah, I wish I wish that it was still cool to to rap uh, like some of the people that I grew up on, you know? Yeah. Did you have one of those radios that you put on your shoulder, a boom box, and it had, took like those D side batteries and you'd have about 10 of them in the back of it and walk around the neighborhood? I, yeah, we had one of those. Well, I didn't, so that feels like more of a New York thing to me for some reason, like on the East Coast kind of thing is what yeah. I think about when I think of that. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, we definitely, you know, we had boom boxes and, and stuff like that. We would listen to music outside and yeah, we did the whole thing. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. All right. Let's see. Uh, if you could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? Brazil. Yeah. You like yeah, heat. I, yeah. And, you know, I just really like when I went there, I really just like the, the atmosphere and the energy and even the language. I do speak Portuguese. So. It was, uh, you know, it's just a beautiful language and just the culture in general. I just think it's really cool uh, down there in, in, in Brazil. So, yeah, that's what that's definitely. And it's beautiful. You know, you have beautiful, um, like natural sites and, and things like that. That's just mm. really nice to take in, you know, um, obviously, depending on what part you're in. But, yeah, it would be yeah. it would be in Brazil for sure. Is that, um, I know yeah. I'm a big traveler and this might sound really dumb, but is that Rio? Is that in Brazil? Where's Rio? Rio is, is, Rio is in Brazil. Um, and I went to Rio. That's probably not even the, the place that I would, I would probably go. I'll probably be in the South. Uh, but, but I did like Rio and Rio is, an, you know, it's an amazing city. So Rio de Janeiro is a big city. Sao Paulo is another big city um, yeah. or a big, you know, big, uh, big state. So yeah. anyway, yeah. Uh, good to, and do you travel much yourself? Um, I don't know about much. I mean, I've I've been a few places. You know, I've been to um, I've been to Scandinavia. You know, I've been to you know a few few places in in uh, a couple places in South America. I haven't been to Asia. You know, there's there's definitely still some places that you know. I've been to Australia. I hey. went to Australia last year. Yeah, I was I was down there. Um, uh in sydney uh yeah just in sydney so no, yeah a little a little bit of traveling a little bit of traveling yeah no um australia's yeah. quite good for us because it's a three and a half hour flight and basically okay. for around about twelve hundred dollars you can go over there for a week and come back so which is about 800 us dollars so it's a real cheap holiday and it's a lot warmer than new mm-hmm. zealand so we hit over there quite a lot okay okay so you've been to Asia, you said. So this question might be interesting. What's the most unusual thing you've ever eaten? So I haven't been to Asia. I said I haven't been to Asia. Oh, That's you one haven't. Continent that I haven't been into. But but okay, you said what's the most unusual thing I've eaten? Yep. Um, probably kangaroo in Sydney. Uh. <laughs> yeah, that and that, well, that may not even be unusual to you because since yeah. you're so close to Australia. 
Um, yeah. but for me, it was, uh, it was, that was, that was very unusual for me. Yeah. I traveled Bangladesh, China and, uh, India, um, 13 months ago, got out just before COVID. But when we come back, my mm. partner said, how about going, um, a vegetarian? I said, why don't we go vegan? So I've been a vegan for yeah. the last 14 months. Um, and I haven't missed wow. it, but, um, it's unusual when you've had meat in your, and, um, dairy in your life and then you just right. cut it out. I'm still human. It is, yeah. You know what's funny about that? I'm pretty. I'm like ninety percent vegan. So <laughs> like when I went to when I went to Australia, I've been and I've been for like four years. But I but for me, it's not like you know. I don't view it like like religion, for example. You know, it's like I can do it ninety percent of the time, and every once in a while, if I want to have you know fish, you know, a couple times a year or something like that, or you know. Or go to Sydney and have kangaroo, you know, I'll, I'll do that. I know yeah. that's not like the popular, you know, uh, creed of veganism, but that's that's kind of, you know, it's just that's just something that works yeah. for me. Yeah, I'm not trying to save the planet. I actually watched The Game Changer yeah. uh, on Netflix, and that was pretty cool. And I really, I, I like yeah. calling myself a plant based eater. Uh, right. I'm, you know, I'm I have more yeah. energy as well, which I found really mm -hmm. interesting. Um, that was good for Definitely. you. Definitely. Okay, so if you could go back in time and change one thing, <laughs> this could be good. Uh, what would that be? <laughs> uh, man, that's that's rough. <laughs> I mean, because there are things that like would would be would affect my life directly, and then there's other things that mm. may be better for the planet. You know, yeah. that don't have anything to do with me. Well, let's go, planet. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm a believer of uh, every action has a reaction and, um, you know, you change yeah. one thing. Uh, I don't know. Maybe the invention of bombs. I don't yeah, like those. Nuclear weapons. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like if we could, if we could somehow... Uh, I, I, I like. I'm scared to say stifle the minds of the people who, who you know, created that thing. Or I don't know what would be the best best way. Yeah. But yeah, so if there was some way to get rid of that, I think that would probably uh, that would probably be best for like mankind. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Somehow stop war. I think that's something that yeah. I'd like to do. I think I did hear exactly. once that they stopped um, spending all the money that they spend on war for one day, they right. would solve the world's famine problems. And that's, I've heard that. That's weird. Eh? I don't, I've probably heard yeah. that from the same place. <laughs> <laughs> probably. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> uh, what, now this could be a good one for a rapper. Um, what's the longest you've. Hey, I'm, I'm sorry. It's cutting out. Can you hear me? You've me. There it comes back. I'll repeat. Yeah, I can hear you. You've gone jam session. Oh. That must be all part of the rep. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure Everyone's what's going back. on here. Okay, hold hold on. Um, should I try to call back? Here we go. Oh, yeah, yeah. I can. I can hear you now. Yeah. Okay. No, no, we're doing good. Back. Okay. Okay, right. can you it ask? Must have been a satellite re readjusting. Oh, do you yeah. want to read the question again? Yeah, let me, you know what? Let me see if I can connect to my okay. Wi Fi here. So I'm gonna just uh, the long gone without sleep and why? All right, right. I'm sorry here. It's uh, it's good. It's, it's a it's not a it's not a great signal here. Let's see. Okay. All right. Can, oh. can you can you uh, can you see me? I can't see you, but I can hear you. Okay. Okay. Right. Let me. Yep, I can see you. Sorry. You're gonna, you're okay. gonna be that strange guy standing under a power pole. <laughs> Eight o'clock over there. Yeah, isn't I'm it? just Eight trying to find some light. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's six thirty <laughs> actually right now for me. Yeah. Oh, is it dark already? That's good. Yeah.
Oh, so you, yeah, um, sorry about that. I'm not sure what the, I'm not sure what, why the, yeah. just been naughty. That's right. Okay. It actually looks like we're doing it on purpose now. It's very arty. <laughs> You can okay. See the silhouette of your face. It's looking good, bro. <laughs> Let me. I'm, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try. <laughs> you know what? I'm, maybe I'm gonna try to uh, relocate here. So, so just continue. I'll, I'll drive somewhere and see if that that helps. Oh yeah, yeah, it's good now. All right, all right. There's okay. good. Okay. Okay. How's it going? Yeah. That all works. right. Yeah. Let's do that. So I, I can hear you. I think we're. I can hear you. I was going to start singing in the in the interim, but I didn't think that would be good for your ears. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry about that. All right. So, did you get um, when you used to sing the kingdom songs? When you used to sing the kingdom songs in the Jehovah's Witness halls, <laughs> did you? Uh -huh. Did you? Did you? Could have you ever thought about doing a, a rap using that uh, uh, kingdom song? <laughs> Uh, no, I can't, I can't say I have. Um, I actually, <laughs> so when I grew up, there were at least rumors of parties where people, the DJs would take the kingdom songs and like scratch them and, you know, do different things to them. And, uh, so, oh, cool. you know, but it was, it was, it was pretty taboo though. It's not really something you were supposed to do. So, um, but yeah, I, uh, I I never I never thought of doing that. I never thought of uh, rapping the Kingdom song. <laughs> no, nah, nah, not really. Definitely not now. <laughs> I just want to get that stuff out of my head, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. It is sometimes sometimes painful bring, talking about it, and I don't want to get like yeah. I don't want people to think I've got a chip in the shoulder because I, you know, I've got a yeah. good life, but it fascinates me. I, I haven't got an education, but I even did go back and get one. I'd, I'd like to study psychology because I, I like to yeah. understand how people think. Definitely. I feel the same way. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I'm going to go back and answer that question. What's the longest you've gone okay. without sleep? Uh, the longest I've gone without sleep? Um... Maybe twenty hours or something. Maybe not something much. like that. Yeah, not not too like I don't I've never gone like a full day and and plus without sleeping. You mean you're talking about any sleep mm. at all, right? Yeah. Well sometimes you've uh, you know, well I remember going out drinking one night and sitting there in the bar uh, and then watching the sun come up going, Oh my goodness. But um that was a bit different, but yeah. yeah, I mean, I don't get much sleep myself anyway, so it's a bit of a dumb question for me. Oh, I'm gonna <laughs> let's pick another one. Okay. Um, okay. If you could choose, if you could choose to do anything for a day, what would you do? So, you, free will to do anything at all you want to do. What would you like to do? Um. It's, it's going to sound corny, but I think make music. I think I really, I think I really enjoy that. I think I really, I enjoy that that much that that would probably be my, the activity that I would, I would like the most at this point in my life, you know, who knows in a few years, the yeah. answer would be something different, but yeah, it would probably be, it would probably be that that's, that's my biggest passion. Besides my son yeah, simple, man, that, and you know, yeah, yeah go ahead. But you mean, uninterrupted isn't it that's what you i mean I, when i have yeah, a project, exactly. I, I like doing what i do but when i get a whole day yeah. of no interruptions you accomplish so much yeah, yeah. exactly that's yeah. good so that would probably be my favorite thing so if you had a song that summed you up i think i could answer this question for you so what song <laughs> would you say best sums you up and it, it can be my own song I think it has to be, man. That's some, I, <laughs> I watched that last night again, and it's just brilliant, man. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate. I think, it. Yeah, I, I think yeah. yeah, I think. Um, that's that's kind of the interesting thing to me about like me coming into the musical space is because I never felt that there was a song that that represented me. You know, like all of these rappers that I would listen to, I was like, man, my story has never been told. You know. 
And my story yeah. is not unique to me per se. It's there's a lot of people who have the same story as me. So that's why, um, you know, that's that's something I wanted to like feel in this space. You know, there's not another rapper as far as I know that's, you know, that's really talking about this, you know, uh, mm-hmm. like how, how I've how I've been trying to do it. So, yeah. Anyway, so the song I think that sums me up the most is, is my first song, which is Cost of Doing Business. It's because it tells my story and, you know, generally how how we get to, you know, where I am uh, at this point in my life. Yeah, and it really did now. It was actually, um, I was watching a couple of other people that have interviewed, interviewed you in the past and one guy said it mm-hmm. made, made him cry. <laughs> mm-hmm. And it, I mean, when you're getting your message out there, it affects other people's lives. It's um, breathtaking. I'm, um, Absolutely. I'm, I'm dyslexic and for years oh. I've been doing... Um, a bit of public speaking and training to be a, a speaker and the like. And I remember having a guy, I was all mic'd up and I said, Oh, you couldn't just record me reading this three minute and 41 minute um, talk about dyslexia. And I nailed mm. it, but it, it wasn't um, so much getting three minutes and 41 seconds worth of material. Out. It was the five years of me figuring out how to get this one message out in one go. Right. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I can, uh, your story is different, but I, I certainly see, I reckon that really nailed it to me. And it's absolutely it's high quality stuff too. Yeah. Did you have a film crew around you and everything doing all that? Cause it looks like you obviously did. But, yeah. yeah. Yeah, definitely. I actually, um, so for my birthday, um, which was one of my first birthdays that I've ever celebrated, uh, my good friend, decided that was going to be his gift to me. He was going to get reach out to a videographer who records some of people's favorite rappers. Like he's a big videographer. And my friend just reached out to him and hired him. And it, you know, it was amazing. So I, I flew down there to Southern California and I shot with him. And this guy, like I said, this guy, if you check his Instagram, he's shooting for huge stars yeah. you know so it's the the fact that i could have that for my first video is pretty crazy to me that that's literally my first video and song ever you know so i think i got really lucky and now he shoots all of my videos he's yeah. even flown up here to san francisco area and he the last video i, I shot called chasing dreams uh yeah. he, he shot that as well so yeah definitely we had a and it's really just him it's really him and one other guy that kind of takes pictures uh, yep. But but he's a he's a one man show and he's 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 amazing. Yeah, no, it really is good, uh, world class. And uh, as I said, Thank my you. you've got to do a shout out to my niece. Her name's Jasmine Eve. Hey, Jasmine. She, yeah, <laughs> I said to her that um, when I said that I had you coming on the show, she said, "Oh, I listened to all the stuff," and she was really wrapped oh. um, that I was interviewing you. So it was really nice, actually. I, right. I appreciate that, Jasmine. Yeah, that's it's funny. That's my sister uh the sister who follows me in age uh she's her my her name is jasmine uh, so yep. yeah so that's the coincidence there so yeah, no. yeah but yeah shout out shout out jasmine Woo-hoo. um yeah. what's one thing you would never do again ha 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 <laughs> <laughs> Get <back to> uh, <laughs> yeah join 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 a religion oh yeah. no Oh, it's a hard yeah. one, isn't it? For people who don't follow the Jehovah's Witness thing, it's such a big part of your life. It's like when yeah. you go down to the local supermarket and you bump into somebody you grew up with and you don't mm. know whether they're in it or out of it. And you don't know mm. whether you make a fool of yourself when you go up and say, G'day, how are you doing? You, you just can't get right. away from it. Yeah. Exactly. And you yeah, were baptized at nine, nine years of age, which is so right. young. I think really one, young, yeah. yeah. My brother was 11 and you were, got three sisters and they were baptized 13 ish. So. Yeah. So I have three sisters and I have one brother. Um, my, yeah, my sisters were baptized at Jasmine was baptized at um, uh, 13 and then another sister baptized at 11 and then the other sister also at 13. So yeah, everybody got baptized pretty young. And if you don't mind yeah. me saying for people who don't, no, the religion, your family now has nothing to do with you. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Yep. It's sad, eh? Yeah, no, I definitely okay. think it's sad. Yeah. Yeah, I put it in a nutshell. Uh, it is just sadness, really. It's a waste of so many things. It's hard to even explain it. Yeah. 
Who's your hero then? Like who do you, who inspires you? Who inspires me? Um, man, that's tough. Who inspires me? I think I have different inspirations for different things. Um, I think someone who I admire just you were you're talking like celebrities and stuff like that, or is that what we're talking about? I think so. Yeah, I think motivation. I mean, motivation. What motivates you to get out of bed in the morning? In a way, really, isn't it? Like, oh, okay. You might listen to something oh. and think um, that that's really good. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, say, say say that one more time. Or well, sometimes you, you you listen to somebody speak about something, and you think that that really motivates me or gets me. Yeah. Into it. You know. Well, well, yeah, no, I, I think I I think somebody who's who motive who's uh, motivational inspirational to me is Dave Chappelle. Believe it or not, uh, the comedian. I find him very very inspirational and like some of the thing a lot of the things that he talks about um, and just kind of the way that he sees things. Um, like I aspire to, uh, to, to be like that in, you know, to a degree. And so I, I kind of find, you know, that inspirational, uh, like, you know, inspirational and just motivational and something that I admire. Now I've got a funny one for you because I, I've done two podcasts today. I've done three. Actually. Okay. Jay, <laughs> Jay, the comedian. I just interviewed yeah. him an hour before yourself, and I said, can you yeah. give me a question to ask Swift? And he said he wants to know what vi YouTube video of his that you like the most. <laughs> okay. Man, uh, that's that's a tough one because... Got quite a few. <laughs> because the ones that I remember enjoying the most and laughing at the most... I just remember laughing. I don't even remember what they're about. Yeah. Like, uh, and and I and it was so long ago. Like, I got introduced to Jay's channel um, the same day that the Leah Remini uh, show that I was on came out, and that was like November of 2018. So, me and my friend, I went to visit my friend in New York. He's like, "You got to watch this guy," and I was watching him, and I was like, "He's hilarious!" And I, yeah. and he was just, he was like making fun of. What he was talking about, how like there's um, a like at an assembly, you'll see like a uh, you know a, a lady giving a giving a experience, giving an experience of you know a, a sister about how like this guy was trying to this this rich guy was trying to hit on her, and you know he had a he had a Lamborghini and he had so much money, and you know it was really a test for me from Satan. And like Jehovah was with me and he was Jay was just talking about how like how silly those, you know, the, it was just really just really crazy experiences that they would have us listen to, you know, and it would always be kind of generic and kind of just like very predictable and 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 uh, just just silly, just just propaganda. So anyway, I just was really able to resonate with uh with you know how how he explains what the experiences of being a witness is like uh so yeah definitely shout out shout out to jay yeah, yeah he's a friend of mine, I, for sure. I, I watched one um today and it was about uh, tony morris and he was in a liquor store buying uh -huh. a whole lot of liquor but he had a whole trolley load <laughs> yeah. of the stuff and uh <laughs> and he's wearing a trench coat and uh yeah he was asking him what whiskey was good and he he just went through the whole the whole scene with it it's just so cool because i think the humor yeah. that I mean, we were talking earlier before we went live, but yeah, people don't understand the Jehovah's Witness terminology. And when you talk about the governing body and, you know, the last days and the sign of the times or whatever, all this stuff, people don't get it. But it's so funny when a comedian yeah. chucks in these little bits of um, lace lines that we pick up and no one else probably would. Yeah, exactly. All right. Um, two more questions, mate. What would you sing at a karaoke night? Um. Oh man, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. <laughs> you sing your own I, music. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I guess I could see. I guess I would just see my song. No, um, I, I won't. I won't keep answering that for everything. <laughs> Maybe a Nipsey Hustle, a Nipsey Hustle song. Um, is that country? Is Nipsey. Say it again. Is that country stuff? No, that's rap. It's rap oh, also. Sorry. Yeah. I mean, so so yes. No, it's okay. It's okay. He's a he's a he's a rapper that actually um, he's deceased now, but he. He's a rapper from Southern California, and he's he's one of my favorite rappers of, of all time. So I would probably sing something from him, maybe um, uh, maybe a song called Dedication. Uh, it's a really really good song from Nipsey Hussle. Uh, so yeah, that's probably what I what I was singing at a karaoke. If we're talking about singing singing, it would be a Stevie Wonder song. Um, um, yeah. All, yeah, all I need is my. Fa- Stevie Wonder is actually my favorite artist of all time. As much as I'm talking about rap, you yeah. know, I really like, you know, Stevie Wonder is my favorite. And my favorite song of his is All I Need. So that's probably on the singing side, that's probably what I would do at a karaoke. Yeah, good stuff. I was saying to my partner, yeah. I was a bit nervous about interviewing t- today. And I said, wonder if I should ask if he wants to do a, a, a rap together. And she said, please don't. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that would be must see TV right there. Yeah, it would have been terrible. All right, last question <laughs> cards anyway. So, um, what's your proudest accomplishment? What's my proudest accomplishment? Yeah. Um, besides your kids, you've got kids, haven't you? Y- yeah, that's what I was going to say. Is nah, you can't use that one. Can't use, can't that, use one. that one. Okay. Um, I would say my proudest accomplishment is, uh, is is leaving a belief system that I uh, that I didn't uh, you know that that didn't ring true to me, um, and even though the cost is very high, uh, you know, and creates a lot of pain and things like that, I think I'm I'm proud of myself for um, for just not continuing to go along with with something that didn't ring true to me. You know, yeah. I can resonate. Yeah. It's like mate, it's starting yeah. over from nothing, isn't it? Yeah, like, exactly. Yeah. I often say to people, "I'm the king of starting over." Right. You know? <laughs> and if I was stuck yeah. on a desert island and I had nothing, I think I'd be all right because I know what that's kind of like. And it, you know, right. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been awesome, mate. We've answered my questions, and and what do you? So you full time singer, or do you have a job as well? What else do you do? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I I can't support myself on music. Yeah, most most musicians, especially when they first start off, you know, it's it's a glorified hobby. I say right now, um, and I say glorified because you know, eventually, I would love to be able to do it full time because, like I said, it's my passion. Yeah. But what I do for a living has nothing to do with the music i'm a i'm an interpreter i'm actually an interpreter uh a spanish interpreter in court oh wow okay yeah so it's probably not what you expected <laughs> so yeah, you ever get so, a chance to change the words to say something else <laughs> you, 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 say it again are you oh, change the words <laughs> yeah you, you are free you no. Can, sorry i got that wrong no i mean yeah, no, sometimes there's uh there's like if somebody says something disrespectful to the judge, like curses at the judge, uh sometimes I will I will at least like, oh, you know, <laughs> I, ha- I still have to say it. I'm under ethical obligation to say what they said. Wow. Uh but you know, but <laughs> but I sometimes like I'll at least like think about it and then I have to I'll look at the judge like kind of like you know it's not my words right just as a reminder i'm just <laughs> i'm just interpreting you know so yeah. Yeah. yeah but no i can't definitely can't switch anything around that's big trouble uh, cool um yeah. yeah and how's Kovic in your hometown I, I hear that the bars and cafes are starting to open up a little bit you're in level four is that right was that you guys you know what I, I don't know the level numbers. I, I used to watch the news every day. And then I just, I think I just got a, a little bit tired of it. It's just mm. too much. So I, I just kind of feel like I'll find out somehow generally, excuse me, what the, what the rules and the guidelines are. And I'm, I'm fine with that. But I, so I don't know what level, but I do know that, yes, um, they are doing some like outdoor seating and stuff like that. We just recently went to Benihana's. I don't know if you have Benihana's in New Zealand. 
Um, it's where it's a restaurant uh, where they um, it's like Asian cuisine and they the, the the thrill of the restaurant is they flip the spatulas and put on a whole show kind of oh, yeah. in front of you. They, they cook while they're spinning swords or whatever, Dude's you know, fun. little things or <laughs> yeah, get, catching things in their hats and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. Like, you know, a chef comes over and he kind of puts on a little show, you know, makes a, tr a train out of onions or whatever. So anyway, we went there recently and all they have is just outdoor seating. So <laughs> they don't they, all it is is they just bring you a plate outside. Like the whole reason for going to yeah. Benihana is, is completely lost at the moment. Like it, you know, and then that's when you realize like, man, I, I guess I didn't like the food that much. Like I like it when it's not. Yeah. I really like the show. That was part of it, you know. And next so, time they might just throw uh, it at you. <laughs> like, here you go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, here's a show for you right there. So, yeah, it's a yeah. different world at, at the moment. It's sort of uh, with the J-Dub thing, I've noticed a lot of them are looking at the doom and gloom. And Yeah, getting, I would I would imagine so. Yeah, and they'd be like, yeah. I remember getting a text from somebody saying, oh, you know, keep an eye on the king of the south and the king of the north or something. This guy texts me all this yeah. stuff. And it's like, um, that is kind of like they're waving their flag now, thinking this is their moment but they've had lots of moments yeah. that haven't proven out so exactly I'd rather go you know you know you know what's interesting i heard so i saw somebody recently on on a forum um about that say that a lot of the beliefs you know some of the books that uh jehovah's witnesses use about prophecy and stuff like that if you read it it's really just a bunch of conspiracy theories Mm -hmm. And I thought that was kind of interesting, right? Like, it's kind of, it should be, a lot of it should be kind of classed like that, you know, <laughs> like how yeah. we might view any other, you know, conspiratorial group. It's kind of, you know, they have those elements. So anyway, I just, I, I find that kind of interesting. Yeah, that's a weird thing. Hey, it's nice that you yeah. managed to get yourself out the other side. You've got yourself a bit yeah. of family around you and obviously some good relationships and, it's so nice Definitely. to see you doing, getting your message out and your music. Um, and it's, it really has been, uh, um, I don't want to say blessing. <laughs> <laughs> a privilege. Okay. Yeah. Um, and interviewing Thank you, mate. And it's just so nice to have you spend the time and come on the show because I know you're a busy fella. So it's been really cool. It's no problem. No problem. And, you know, like I said, thank you for, Thank you for reaching out, um, you know, and allowing me to, to to answer the questions. That's a very creative, uh, creative approach you have there. So, yeah, I really enjoyed it. Thank you. No, no worries, mate. Good on you. Thank you.